Hello welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we tell you about New Courland and explain how tiny Latvia country built an empire. Curonian colonization refers to the colonization efforts of the Duchy of Courland and Semigallia, today part of Latvia. Small, but wealthy. The duchy took a modest part in the European colonization settlement attempts of West Africa and the Caribbean. Jacob Ketteler spoke Latvian, created an independent state and growth army and fleet with powerful ships manufactured of Latvian pine trees from Smiltine City, like Brandenburg, which had far larger German colonizing power before the formation of the German Empire. Courland had a European crusading past. The colonies were established under Jakob, Duke of Courland and Semigallia, and were one of the two Latvian colonies. Second colony was Gambia River in Africa. During his reign, 1642 to 1682, the duchy established trading relations with all of the major European powers. Jakob established one of the largest merchant fleets in Europe, with its main harbors in Windau, today Ventspils, and Libau, today Leopaya. His fleet made voyages to the West Indies as early as 1637 when the settlers established the first colony on Tobago. The first colony was a failure, but it was refounded in 1639. In 1651, the Courland and Semigallia gained a colony in Africa on St. Andrew's Island in the Gambia River and went on to build Fort Jacob on the island. The duchy also gained control of additional land, which happened to include St. Mary Island, modern-day Banjul, and Fort Gillifrey. The Courland and Semigallia's colonies exported sugar, tobacco, coffee, cotton, ginger, indigo, rum, cocoa, tortoise shells, as well as tropical birds and their much sought after feathers. In the end, the duchy would manage to retain control of these lands for less than a decade and the colonies were formally ceded to England in 1664. The colonies were lost when the Courland and Semigallia's neighbors took advantage of its weakened defenses during the Northern Wars. When Jakob was held captive by the Swedish army from 1658 to 1660. After the end of the war, the island of Tobago was returned to Courland. However, the duchy ended up abandoning the island in 1666. In 1668, a Kurish ship attempted to reoccupy Fort Jacob, but was driven off by the Dutch garrison stationed on the island. The Courland Monument near Great Courland Bay commemorates the Duchy's settlements. A final Kurish attempt to establish a Caribbean colony involved the construction of a settlement near modern Toko on Trinidad. 